It's Bumpy's Frozen Pizza Reviews. Yeah. On this episode of Bumpy's Frozen Pizza Review, I have Elio's Cheese Pizza. It's, uh, nine slices. Uh, so each one of these pizzas has three slices to it. And that's what it looks like still in the wrapper. Um, this is basically uh, just me taste testing this. I kind of got these for my grandson because he likes pizza. Why not? Um, but uh, I haven't eaten these since I was a kid. I mean, this was like 80s, 90s nostalgia. You know, I just need my older brother to come make it for me so all the cheese can go blub, blub, blub. All right, so there she is directly out of the toaster oven. I did um, 12 minutes uh, at the recommended 425 degrees. Looking pretty good um, on direct rack. It's supposed to give it a crispier crust, although this is flimsy. Um, but yeah, not looking bad. and smelling pretty darn good, too. Not looking exactly like the pizza on the box here, but... I mean, come on. I can't even tell that there's three slices here. This is just going to be one slice of pizza. But, yeah, we'll get to the review here after this cools. And the price range on this, I'll have to see if I still have the receipt. All right, so here we are with this Elio's slice, uh, cheese slice. It's three pizza pieces, <laughs> apparently. But, uh, yeah, so that's what the top looks like. It looks nice. Uh, bottom doesn't look too bad. I cooked it directly on the rack. Of course, I did it in my convection uh, French oven toaster uh, air fryer <laughs> oven. I mean, it's like everything in one. Um, so it's kind of a floppy crust. I wasn't going for a floppy crust. To do that, you should have put it on a pan according to the box. Um, so, I mean, it, it, this is just so small. I didn't want to heat up an entire oven, it would take a lot longer. But uh, yeah, there's some aromas on this. It smells good, I mean, you're getting, you're getting a nice cheese smell. There's some nice herbs and stuff coming up with the sauce, nice tomato sauce. It just, I don't know, this is kind of a, uh, this, okay, so I've done like a Papa Gino's pizza, frozen pizza. This actually smells like Papa Gino's, uh, like, at the, at the restaurant, Papa Gino's. This smells pretty darn good. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just take a bite. It's not gonna crisp at all. All right, so first bite, there's a lot of uh, doughiness with the, with the bread. Uh, getting a little bit of sauce. It's, it's got a, kind of a sweetness to it. Um, cheese, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to just continue eating some more of this, though, just to kind of figure more of it out. But so far, not too bad. I think my grandson will probably enjoy this. Of course, he likes any pizza. I've given him some really bad pizza. And he said, mmm, and I'm like, no. So let's continue on. All right, so here we are. Um, what I've noticed, the crust is, oh, let me figure this out. It is light and airy. Um, it's almost got the flavors of like a, a fresh baked pretzel without like all the salt and stuff like that uh, on the inside, like the inside of a, of a nice pretzel. Um, it's got this kind of doughiness, this breadiness to it. Uh, it's pretty good. The cheese is nice. I do wish there was more cheese. Load up, load this one up with the cheese. Um, but yeah, the sauce, it may be like kind of a thinner layer sauce, but the sauce has uh, some flavors going for it. It's definitely on the sweeter side. It's a lot like that beach pizza. Uh, that I did, except it doesn't kind of have that citrusy pineapple type vibe to it. This one is is sweet, like there's a sugariness to it, but it does have some like basil, oregano type uh, notes as well. 
pretty satisfying pizza. The uh, price point on this, three dollars, and you get three slices of pizza. Basically, these are mm, they they are supposed to break up into three different parts, but you can figure each one of these is like it's it's like a dollar slice. So there you go. Um, yeah, not too uh, not too bad. Ilios. I've seen some uh, pizzas that resemble Ilios, so I'll have to pick those up um, just to see where they're at. Uh, but overall, pretty happy price point. I think my grandson will really enjoy it. I, I'm enjoying it, and uh, I must have enjoyed it as a kid too. Cause damn. Cheers.